Welcome back uh, to Geometry Classroom. Today we'll uh, start a new uh, section called uh, Permutations and Combinations. Uh, this lesson will be divided into four parts. Uh, the first part is uh, called uh, Fundamental uh, Principle of Counting. The second part is factorial of a number, third part permutations, and fourth part combinations. Now, in uh, this uh, lesson, we'll uh, talk about uh, fundamental counting principle. We have an, uh, uh, an objective. We use the fundamental counting principle to determine the number of possible outcomes in a given situation. Now, what does fundamental counting principle state? If activity one can be done in n one ways, activity two can be done in n two ways, activity three can be done in n three ways, and so forth, then the number of ways of doing these activities on a spe specified order is the product of n1, n2, n3, and so forth, right? So, in other words, if you have a few activities that can be made each in a certain number of ways, to find the total number of possible outcomes, we multiply uh, the number of times of ways of each activity. Let's uh, have a few uh, examples. For example, here, uh, Ohio license plate have three numbers from 0 to 9, followed by three letters. How many different license plates are possible if digits and letters are repeated, right? So, uh, to find this, uh, uh, the all possible uh, outcomes. Let's draw uh, six spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? Three, four numbers and three, four letters, right? Now, remember, digits and letters can be repeated, right? Now, f uh, we have ten possible numbers for each spot, 0 to 9, right? Now, for the first spot, we have 10 possible numbers, right? 0 to 9. For the second number, right, because the numbers can be repeated, we may have the same number of uh, digits, right? Again, another 10. For the third spot, which is the third possible number, we have the same number of possible digits because the digits can be repeated, right? Good. For the last three spots, we have three letters, right? As we know, we have in alphabet 26 possible letters, right? Now, in this spot, we, we can have 26 possible letters, right? In the second spot, we have the same number of letters, right? 26. Why? Because letters and numbers can be repeated. In the last uh, spot, we have the same number of letters, 26. As we can see, we have six, six activities, right? According to the fundamental counting principle, to find the total number of possible outcomes, we have to multiply all of these possible ways of doing these activities. And you'll find the total number of 
possible license plates, right? Now, because it's a huge number, we'll uh, use calculator to find this product. Again, we multiply 10 uh, times 10 times 10 times 26 times 26 times 26. And we hit enter. So we're going to have 17,576,000 possible license plates, right? So we're going to have 17,576,000 license plates. Good. Another possible, uh, another uh, application. A die is rolled and a coin is tossed. Determine the number of different possible outcomes by using the fundamental counting principle, right? In this example, we have two activities, right? Rolling a die and tossing a coin. Now, when we roll a die, we have six possible ways of rolling a die, yeah? Why? Because a die has six faces. When we toss a coin, we have only two possible ways, right? And according to the fundamental counting principle, all we need to do is to multiply this to numbers, right? And we, we're going to have 12 such possible outcomes. Another example, for a college interview, Robert has to choose what to wear from the following four slacks, three shirts, two shoes, and five ties. How many possible outfits does he have to choose from? Again, we have how many activities? One, two, three, and four, right? First activity is choosing a slack. Second activity is choosing a shirt. Third activity is choosing a, shoe, a pair of shoes. And uh, the last, uh, the fourth activity, choosing a tie, right? So, how many possible ways of doing the first activity is four. For the second activity, three. For the third activity, two. And for the last activity, five. Yes? According to the fundamental counting principle, all we need to do is to multiply these numbers. So, we're going to have four times three, 12 times 2 is 24, times 5 is 120 possible uh, outfits, right? Good. Another case. Uh, this problem is similar to the previous one. How many outfits are possible with five pairs of jeans eight t-shirts and two pairs of shoes. Again, we have three activities, right? The first activity can be done in five ways. Second activity is in activity in eight ways and the last activity in two ways. All we need to do is to multiply them, right? Five times eight is 40 times two is yeah. <clears throat> Good. Another example. A seven uh, question quiz has four true false questions followed by three multiple choice questions. For each multiple choice questions that there are four possible answers. In how many different ways 
is it possible to answer the seven questions, right? Remember, we have to uh, find uh, how many possible activities we may have. We have a total of seven activities. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The first four activities are questions of, a, of the type true or false, right? Yeah. So, we have the first activities can be done in two ways, right? Why? Because we have only two possible answers, true or false. Second question in the same way, yeah, two. A third question in two ways. Four, fourth question in two ways. Good? The uh, last three multiple, uh, the, the last three questions are multiple choice questions, right? And each multiple choice question can be done in four possible ways, right? So we have here four, yes, four and four, yes, because each multiple choice question can be done in four ways. According to the fundamental counting principle, all we need to do is to multiply these numbers, right? So we multiply them. So we're going to have here 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16 times 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 is 64, right? If we multiply these numbers, we're going to get 1,024 ways of uh, answering to these questions. Good? Um, and the last example is uh, Harpo, Grucho, Chico, Zeppo, and Gamo, and Carl uh, are running in a race. How many different orders of finish are possible, right? Because there are six people, right? There are six activities, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, for the first place, we have six possible ways, right? Because any of these guys could be a winner, right? Good. For the second place, we're going to have five people because one of them was chosen for the first place, right? So here we may have five possible ways of doing this activity, right? For the third place, we, we're going to have four possible people. Why? Because two out of six were chosen for first place and second place. And so on. For the fourth place, we're going to have only three people. For uh, uh, fifth place, only two. And for the last place, there is only one possible uh, guy, right? What we supposed to do with these numbers? We have to multiply according to the fundamental counting principle, right? So, if we multiply these numbers, we'll uh, get 720 ways. Yes? This is uh, all we have for uh, 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 today. Thank you for watching my video. Next time we'll talk about factorial of a number.